let us see how to add io compression library to the cluster using cloud data manager in this topic we will see how to add a new type of io compression library after reviewing the existing ones to review the existing ones we have to go to cloud data manager click on hdfs go to configuration and search for compress there is a property called io.compression.codex as part of corset.xml whatever values that are displayed here are the supported compression codecs on our cluster so if you have to add additional codec first we need to install the necessary libraries and then we have to click on this plus and we have to add the fully qualified class name of that compression algorithm so in our case we'll be seeing how to enable lgo compression on top of these existing compression codecs that being said first let us see the advantages of using compression compression reduces space in the cluster to store large files depending upon the type of data and depending upon the compression algorithm you can get compression rates up to 10x wherein the storage requirements can go down by 10x and also we can compress the output of one stage before passing it to the input to the other stage by using compression to manage the intermediate data we can actually increase the data transfer speeds because when we compress the data we can transfer more data in using less bandwidth when it comes to hadoop hadoop supports multiple compression techniques such as gzip bzip2 lgo snappy deflate etc as of now most of these things are already enabled on the cluster you can see the list here However, LZO or LZOP is not enabled yet. We will see how to enable this as we proceed further. If you have the binary setup, it is straightforward to add a compression type. You just have to go to HDFS in Cloud Data Manager. You have to select Configuration, search for compression, and you have to actually provide the path. Depending upon the mode using which you have installed the cluster, you have to follow the instructions. So, if you are using packages to manage your cluster then you have to follow these instructions however at this time our cluster is managed by parcels and hence here are the instructions to actually enable lgo compression using parcels so first we need to configure parcel we have to copy it till this point and then we have to use appropriate version we will see what that version is in a moment to go to the parcels you can click on this and then go to configuration and the version of cdh what we have at this time is nothing but 5.15.1 so we have to click on this configuration here we have to add additional parcel repository paste the url which we copied from the content and then we have to specify 5.15.1 and say save changes so whatever gpl extras you are setting up should match the existing active cdh repository which is nothing but 5.15.1 that being said you can see the gpl extras here now we have to click on download it will not take very long time because it's only 2.4 mb once it is downloaded we can actually say distribute once distributed we can click on activate and say okay and then this gpl extras will be activated on our cluster once that is done now we can actually go to cloud data manager hdfs configuration and then compression click on plus and the fully qualified class name for lgo codec is this one so we have to use this when it comes to lgo there are two codecs if you want to enable both you just have to say lgo p here and then say save changes once it is done we can click on this tail configuration restart tail services make sure redeploy client configuration is enabled and then click on restart now now the services are being restarted once it is done we can actually go ahead and try to use the new compression codec by running scoop import and we can validate whether the files are compressed as expected or not now the services are restarted we can click on finish still it is saying stale configuration it's just a incorrect uh, message as we refresh there are no restart icons here now we can actually connect to the gateway node of the cluster and then run this scoop import command in this case this scoop import command is using lgo codec you can see here so we can actually copy paste this command and hit enter you can see that the codec is successfully loaded and initialized and now this scoop import is running once it is done we will actually review this output path which is nothing but user training scoop import orders underscore lgo it says job failed now we have to troubleshoot this issue the reason why it is failing is as of now i am connected to it varsity but our output directory is user training that's why it is failing so here i have to fix this to it varsity and then copy the rest of the stuff and hit enter 
Now the import is successful. What we can do is we can actually take this output path and run Hadoop FS-LS and we can see the files with extension lzo underscore deflate, which means the files are compressed using lzo compression codec. This is how you can enable compression with the new compression library on our cluster and also it's better to validate before we conclude that it is working as expected or not. In this case, we have demonstrated using parcels. If your cluster is using parcels, make sure you use only the parcels. If the cluster is managed using packages, then you have to follow these instructions. 